Should we trust this data? Uh, the president cast a lot of doubt, politicized the, the head of the BLS. That's where these numbers are coming from. Well, look, all, uh, sorry, not all, but, but most economic data ultimately comes from surveys. And so there's always going to be an element of noise. There's always going to be an element of uncertainty. And unfortunately, that element of noise and uncertainty has increased in recent years. If you look at, you know, sort of we have, we, we can sort of speak about revisions in the payroll, in the jobs data, because we get revised data for that. We don't really get revised data for the CPI data. Those never really get revised. The final number is the final, the, the initial number is the final number. Uh, of course, the seasonal factors get revised, but not the underlying data. Um, and if you look at the jobs data, though, where we can speak of this, you know, the birth death model, for example, one of the big drivers of how you of how you think about uh, how job creation is, has occurred has come from a run rate of about 5,000 or so annual uh, j jobs in the annual revision for the 15 years running into COVID to being about 300, almost 300,000 in the last couple of years, right? So that's an increase of about 70 times in the size of that error, right? So this is a degradation in the quality of the statistics that has occurred. And I think the president is, is dead right when he says we need to fix this. We need to make these statistics reliable. We need to make them believable. We need to make them credible. And I'm really delighted that, there's a, that, that, that we're shaping up to be able to do so.